Cadet, I'm coming in. Good evening. I presume you have everything according to plan. May I take a look at it? Hmm. What's that squadron right there? Backup. Do you really think that, that side of the map is going to need backup? That's merely just woods. There's nothing really there to be hiding from. Or hunting, at that matter. Very well. I could see most of our crew is in the sky. How are we doing that? Airships. This new technology is crazy. But it works, so there's nothing to really be threatened about. If need be, I'll be the last person you send. Not to go against your plans and whatever, but I trust myself more as a lookout than I am on the job. As of recently, my body isn't healed all the way properly yet. So if need be, I'll be a last resort if anything goes south. Good. With everything else, though, it looks according to plan. And I couldn't have picked a better person to plan out this attack. It's a very good job. But there's another thing happening. Yes. You see, I've been hearing rumors about other islands, and they're planning a given attack sent towards us. We're not sure how many are there are in their armies, but knowing they are a disclosed island, I do not want to take them lightly. We don't know what type of technology they have. Mm hmm They could have more advanced technology than we have over here. With just mere pistols and rifles. They could have more. I'm not taking my chances of trying to start a new war. We're already barely going through this one. Mm-hmm. What is it? Why do you keep looking at me like that? <laughs> Forget about all those years ago. My heart is stone cold. I have no interest in love anymore. I know what I've done, and I know what I've said. Those feelings are in the past. And you should leave them there as well. I'm more upset than you would ever be about this information. But I just can't. Nothing like that will ever come back into my life. And you know that as well. In any case, when are we going to launch this attack? Next month. 
Is there any way to make it sooner? I see. The trading system between islands is quite shady, and not a lot of the people who work for their military don't know of it yet. So I understand if materials are coming in slowly. Fine. We can attack in a month, but no sooner. Understood, cadet. Very good. Hmm? What is it? Mm-hmm. I don't know if any of us will live after this war. Because if I know one man that has a power that can stop all of this and wipe out everything, I know he'll do something drastic soon, and I don't want to take any more chances with him. So if need be, I'll be the one to slice his head off myself. So don't worry about him. He is a part of my mission, and my mission alone. No one else is. As that is understood, I do have some sort of request for you. You see, I wrote a note for my family. Just in case this war really does go south for me. And if I don't make it out alive, I want you to bring this letter, not to my family, but to all my cadets and the people who have fought this war next to me. And if need be, invite my parents to my funeral. I do not want to see them sad. But it will happen if I die. And I can't help that. That's in the future, if case be. Keep that letter with you. Can I trust you with this? Thank you, cadet. You have my honor. Now, back to assorting businesses. The attack will be next month with little to no casualties. If need be, kill any traitors you see on sight. Doesn't matter if they are friends, family, children, or not. Anyone could be a traitor at this point. And we're not taking any type of chances. Aye. At ease now. I think it's time for both of us to get some type of rest. It is late. Mm -hmm. Now go to your cabin. We have a lot to plan tomorrow as well. And apologies for making you stay up so late tonight. I had a few things I had to do myself before coming back here. Nonetheless, I apologize. All right. Now get going. I'll take care of everything here. All right. Have a good night, cadet. <laughs>